Say you get Thor on Ghost Lake with one gold mine. What are your options here? I need to put this on. One gold mine, Ghost Lake. I'm, a, I'm actually going to push this button here so we can see the map. So you see the map on Ghost Lake. It spawns with gold mines forward that are very difficult to secure. And gold mine in the back. So what you want to be attempting to do here with Thor is, well, you also have the same problem as yourself. So one thing first, like always, um, unless you're incorporating um, heavily into the uh, an early game play with Thor, you don't want to use Dwarven Mine first. If you use Dwarven Mine first, then you have to have some sort of reason behind it. Why are you getting it? So, Yo. we're not going to be using Gold Mine first. Okay, so Yo. we can just send our first yeah, our, our first villagers, our dwarf and our and our gold mi ox cart miner to this medium Good gold win. mine here. Yo. Right. Okay. So now we play. Now, what we're going to be looking to do here Yo. Yeah, is we're trying is. to find our hunt. We haven't Yo. found it. Yo. It's fine. Yo. Yo. I know Yo. we have to send our our goats around doing their thing. Nope, we still haven't found any hunt. Worst case scenario here, if we don't find our hunt, we can just move these dwarves. Okay, there's our hunt. So we're going to move over to that now. We cancel all of this, we build an ox car, and we send it this way. So I, this would be what I would do, even if I knew where my hunt was at the start as well. Because we want to be gathering this hunt first. And we should have been getting, um, we should have been getting, whatchamacallit. But we didn't. Okay. So now, next step is we need to get um, we need to get some wood so that we can afford a second ox cart for our for our um, for our villagers here. So we're just gonna chuck these villagers over onto the wood mine on here. Get a little bit of wood from them, and we can even at this point as well. We only need to have three or, or four dwarves, right? So we don't even have to put them back over onto. Onto gold just yet. Which is another thing. So now that we have the wood, we can chuck them back onto gold. We only need to get another another 40 gold, and then we have enough to build a temple. So these are all some crazy ideas that people haven't tried before. And they're just sitting in my brain. So now we can go over onto food, and we can start pumping out the food villages. Actually, we should get pig sticker, but... I'm not going to get pig sticker. I'm going to show you you don't need pig sticker. Pig sticker is overrated. Especially on a map like this where you've only got a little bit of hunt. Those two villagers can pop there. The rest can come onto the berries here. And that's where my boar is, which is lovely. And I don't care. Now we can chuck the temple up. We're going to be on our way to the next age at a fairly decent rate here as the villagers are dumping all their resources here. And there's one thing you need to know about dwarves. They gather from... I think they gather at the same rate. Berries at the same rate. Not sure. They do. They do. And there's no way to, so it really doesn't matter. And I need the dwarves anyways. Okay, so this, this villager is bad. What can you do about it? And anyways, and this is this is just one one way that, that Thor can navigate awful early games or, or awful, awful map spawns. And still advance fast. Something... Well, we need... It's the same, it's the same. And now we can advance. And because we haven't put more villagers on wood early, we actually have to come over here and put them over here. Onto this. And these ones can come forward. Finish off that, go over the berries, and we'll be totally fine. And build our hersa. And life's going to be great, right? I mean, this gold mine's tragic, but... 
such as life. You can grab a pickaxe even, get another house, well probably not. These villages will dump wood in. You gather wood very, very fast as Norse. I think Norse gathers with the fastest, maybe behind or at a similar rate to Greek. 1.08. Maybe Atlantean gathers it slightly faster earlier. And we can throw up our barracks. And this is an awful map, right? But we're still classical age at a decent time. We've eaten our forward hunt. Normally we get pushed off this and we have to come back to our berries, so let's just pretend. We've got we've got boar over here as well we can run to, so let's go to that. We can even grab our pig sticker now so that we can eat the boar. I'm not going to. I'm gonna ungrab that. Because I know that there's not that much hunt here. We can send this guy forward. Yo. And we get all of these things going. Happy days. Dwarves should be able to queue. And you see the set player here has not managed to advance. Because their map is just as tragic as mine, but they don't have any adaptation. And now we continue on our plan. Our plan here on this map should probably be to hit some sort of heroic timing against pretty much everyone yeah, and we should throw away our valkyrie first anyways because that's good throwing away your free valkyrie it's, you're just you're just um showing them that that you're you're worth you're worth it you know showing them what, what you're worth now the question, the next question you have to ask yourself is how much military do you want to build? Now, because we've got a dwarven gold mine here in our pocket, we don't actually have to be that concerned. Because we've got an extra thousand gold. So, I actually want to experiment with the idea of using the gold mine in the classical age now and spamming out full population of units. And with that comes. All of these other things that we should probably get, like pierce armor. This is where my ideas come. So we got another thousand gold left in here. So this is this is a thousand here. Got another two thousand gold. We've got all of this wood income as well. This is something that I think is very interesting as well, right? Because now I can build farms. Something that you normally can't can't afford to do as Norse. When you only put four villages on, on wood. Something, something. Now one thing you do have to be worried about when you build farms is not to put dwarves on farms because they do gather slower on the farms with plow and husbandry I think. I think they gather slower. So when you're building the farms make sure you just leave the dwarves on the husband on the herdables and you put the gatherers onto farms. Very important. And I've got all of these raining cavalry popping out. Life is good for me. Never forget to get the medium raiders. And look at all these raiders I can have. And I should still be able to advance to the next age. Being attacked. Something. 
And it's just not a problem, is it? Okay, at this stage, we don't want to over-militarize. As you can see, we're gonna we're gonna have a ton of these raiding cavalry here. We've got all the resources coming in in the world. Feels great. Merry Christmas, Chef Hades. And at this point, like obviously, I could be raiding with these cavalry, but that's not our game plan. Now we can advance. We're gonna go through. Bragi. Yo, yo. Tilbuin. You can, you can see that this is the risky part of the game. We need to have a little bit of resources left to um get heavy cavalry. Yo. Rold sweet. Sat, sat, sat. Tilbuin. But now we can just run out to these gold mines and... I mean, with all of these raiding cavalry, we're kind of fine. Probably make two more. I guess it's fine. We've got all of the gold income in the world now. Uh, and now we can just go kill him on the second gold mine here. Because he should be on that one. At this stage of the game, we got the uh, the crazy raiders, medium raiders coming through, shields, and here he is. Hey mate, you don't have the numbers. You do not have the numbers. Behind this, town centers, more villages coming to farms. Everything is looking fantastic here. Feel battle ball. Something. Pretend like you're playing Loki. Feels great. That's it. One town center, four plays. When you need that extra 500 gold from the from the dwarf mine, you get you get so much more out of it. Because not only that, but it all, not only do you get a safe gold mine, a uh, safe extra thousand gold in your base, but your your villagers they don't have to move. You don't have that idle time running to the gold mine where you where you need where maybe you wanted to go heroic age. Or whatnot. And you can just keep getting these these um PS upgrades as well or all the other upgrades if you if you need them. Or even you can just go straight to the mythic here as well. Mythic Age follow-up on this would have been brutal. Go tier or even Baldur, early Ragnarok. Just to staple the game here. Something. Like I got all this all of these resources. Yeah. It's an interesting one. <laughs> 